All right, today we are looking at SCP-926, object class safe. Special containment procedures. When not in use, SCP-926 is to be unstrung and stored in the temperature and humidity controlled case constructed for that purpose and locked in research chamber 5688-A. Testing of SCP-926 is suspended pending confirmation of the excavation and recovery of all responsive statues. See test log below. Description. SCP-926 is a Guquin, or seven-stringed Chinese zither, dated to the 2nd or 3rd century BCE. The top of the sound chamber is constructed of the wood of an ancient and now extinct cultivar of the Fermata simplex tree. The base is composed of wood from the Calpata ovata. The exterior of the instrument is coated with a lacquer of unknown composition with surface duanwen, or crack patterns, that superficially resemble archaic Chinese logographs. The back of the instrument bears a calligraphic inscription in archaic Chinese reading, The King of Keen Commands. The instrument was unstrung when collected by the foundation, but its case included a leather pouch containing a quantity of instrument strings of twisted silk. The instrument was recovered by local farmers from a funerary site in Lingtong District, Shaanxi Province, China in 1974. After the Guquin was unearthed, cleaned, and restrung, a local traditional musician strummed a few notes on the instrument. The consequent subterranean disturbance led to the discovery of thousands of terracotta, human, and animal statues that have been buried in a hitherto undiscovered imperial necropolis in the vicinity of the site of the Guquin's discovery. SCP-926 appears to function as a command or control instrument for the terracotta figures. The figures are of molded clay construction, unremarkable apart from their excellent state of preservation. Each figure depicts a life-sized human or an animal such as a horse, pig, or falcon. The statues depicting humans vary in dress, height, uniform, and hairstyle in accordance with their apparent rank and the duty of the human depicted i.e. military figures of various ranks, scribes, craftsmen, musicians, cooks, laborers, farmers, scholars, and so on. Despite their clay construction, the statues have been demonstrated to be capable of movement and other actions when, but only when, given commands by means of the Guquin. The Guquin's command syntax is still poorly understood at this point due to limitations on testing. Partial test log follows. Reference 1. Syntax or notes played. Unknown Guquin notes played prior to Foundation acquiring custody of object. The result. Thousands of terracotta statues, while still buried in the necropolis, move suddenly. Statues were standing at attention when unearthed, and it is assumed that the motion consisted of assuming this posture. It was this motion, which local residents had initially assumed was a small earthquake, that led to the discovery and excavation of the statues. Reference 2. Notes played. Shirili. Series of tones. Result. All excavated soldier figures assume the parade rest posture. Reference 3. Notes played. Tai Chu, then Gu Xian. Result. All scribe figures produce brushes, ink, and paper scrolls from an unknown source and adopt a posture apparently indicating readiness to take dictation. Reference 4. Notes played, Nan Yu twice, then Hung Zong twice. Result, shield bearer soldier figures rapidly move into a defensive formation around the Guquin and its player. Reference five, notes played, Wu Yi four times. Result, a number of drummer musician figures begin to beat their drums in unison. It should be noted that one of the drummer figures that responded to this command was at this point on display in the Louvre in Paris, France. Reference number six. Notes played. Da Lu, then Yai Chi, then Lin Xiong, three times. Result. Hundreds of previously undiscovered engineer figures dig their way to the Earth's surface in cropland, two kilometers to the south of the site of the Guquin's recovery. Reference number seven, notes played. Court of Huang Zong and Lin Zhang played twice. Result, a number of scholar figures step forward and orally recite the words of third century BCE, Chinese philosopher Han Fei. Reference number eight, notes played. Dalyu, eight times. 
result. Hundreds of additional unexcavated figures move while underground. The location of the figures was under an earthen dam which collapsed due to the motion, causing widespread flooding and loss of life. Further testing is suspended. Addendum 926-A. A proposal to assign SCP-926 to the Bow Commission's Anomalous Weapons Program, together with other anomalous musical instruments slash musical anomalies in Foundation custody, such as SCP-381 and SCP-2458, is currently under consideration. That's all we have for today. Dismissed.